-hmm. So, now, if a day is as a thousand years, right? Mm -hmm. And John talks about ten days of tribulation, right? And um, it's been six days or a little bit under six days since the fall of man, right? Is that what he means, right? Okay, ten days, okay, and it's already been 6,000 years. Could we have 4,000 more years, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> right, right. The thing is, if you rush into something blindly, you usually wind up hurting yourself or dead, right? <laughs> well, if you rush to return to the Lord and it's another 4,000 years or so, right? Or 2,000 years or whatever, right? And you're at, like he's coming back today and you don't know either, right? You're causing a panic, a pandemic, confusion over little minor things like a flu type virus, which should be handled similarly to the flu. Mm -hmm. Um, cause a fever, sniffles, runny nose, cough, <laughs> that sounds like a flu or cold or a rhinovirus to me. I don't know. Right? You know what I mean? Now, the problem is the debt we're creating for ourselves. So, what do we do when we need to spend money and make money to spend money, right? But don't really have no money. You create it. It's like Monopoly. Right? And if you devalue your own currency by putting it on a stock exchange that goes up and down like a yo-yo, right? why do you think, again, your currency ain't stable? Mm -hmm. You're not putting it on a stable market, right? Because, see, companies can rise and fall, right? That's why that's kind of true, right? One minute one can be up and one minute one can be down. It's also how you handle your business and business sectors and things like that. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, all I can do is take so much of a course anyway. Mm -hmm. Obviously now, right? Now, I can get, a, you know another year of school if I try to go through another university or something and try to do something in business or something, but again, right? The problem comes when the VA can't pay the loan, right? Or forgives the loan. And then suddenly I'm not having the money to finish the course, right? See, what that means is by forgiving the loan, right, I ain't got to pay the money back, right? Therefore, the money that was loaned to me, it's, I don't have to pay it back, right? So what that means is there's no money there anymore. <laughs> so I can't even finish the course because there's no money to fund the schooling and complete the process, right? To complete the course, right? So you got to have loan money that you're supposed to pay back, right? Well, I don't have to pay that because I'm a disabled veteran, right? At 100%, right? They're forgiven the debt of the loan because <laughs> of the disability, right? Well, that means is, well, there's no more money <laughs> to further the education I put in for, right? There was initially, right? They did the Pell Grant, all that stuff, right? But now I don't have to pay it back. <laughs> so that removes the money that was there supporting me going to school. <laughs> There's no more money, right? So now I can't complete the course, right? Even though I put the last um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, almost 11 months into the course, right? Right, right. <laughs> A few more months, and I would have been doing an internship. A few more months, right? And I could, might could have tried to get certified as a pharmacy tech, right? But I still would have had the problem to find a job where I could work 15 hours one month and then 24 the next, right? That would be the next hurdle, right? 
But now that the course ain't even funded anymore, uh -oh, <laughs> what now, what now? Mm -hmm. And the whole course costs 23000 I guess, right? To, you know, if I was to pay it off all at once, right? Well, that's enough to buy a new car, like my mom said, right? I told her about it too, right? And, you know, she's suggesting that I let a friend of ours move in or something, right? Kind of supplement my income. I said, well, if I do that, yeah, I can get me a little storage locker or something, right? And clean the house a little bit, right? And she can move in or something, right? We'll see, we'll see. Like I said, right, we might do a little rearranging over the next couple of days, too, right? And uh, see what happens, right? You never know, you never know. And she so can take the front bedroom and I can put uh, whatever we don't need out, I guess, right? I won't need the couch. I got a couch in there. She so can bring her bed or something, right? And I can put some of the stuff that was Amanda's and storage locker and um, I got me a little sauna in the, and I can put that in the storage locker, right? And get me a storage locker at the store, stove, you know, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And she might can move in and I can clean the house up a little bit now, right? See, there's no reason if you're just trying to do schoolwork anyway. It's not a big deal to keep, you know, a few magazines on the floor. Once the girl moves in, she can help me with the cleaning a little bit, right? And I think she does a little bit of job, and then she pays three fifty a month or four hundred, whatever. Right? That'll help me out in another way. All right, right, right. I don't know. We're talking about it, right? Now, um, I might not can do it because of food stamps. I don't know. I don't know. Right, right. I might not can take on a renter with food stamps. We'll see. We'll see. It's just a suggestion right now, anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, just an idea, all right? But anyway, when one door closes, though, another one opens. Don't just give up, either, either. Whole point, whole motto, right? And I'm ending the course on a 3.5 grade average. I don't know if I can even transfer the course, you know, what... What it even means now, I can try and see what that means about the credits or, right, all that stuff, right? Mm hmm And ask them what that means, right? But I don't know either, right? Exactly, exactly. All right, have a good one.